We just finished up the last Marcus Lattimore Foundation Leadership Academy uh, for the year. Uh, we had about 350 uh, kids and counselors and coaches here today learning everything from NCAA eligibility to professionalism. Um, I usually bring in a speaker at the end of the day uh, to put everything together for the kids. And I wanted something great and somebody inspirational uh, since it was our last one. So we found out that Brandon May was going around and going all over the country doing motivational uh, engagements. So we called him up and it was the best thing we could have ever done uh, was booking Brandon and having him speak to our uh, youth student athletes today. Um, they will never be the same after the day. Uh, the kids were very inspired. Think about that for a second. If you had no more life tomorrow, how hard would you go today? I'm not talking about just on your sport. We're gonna go past the sport today. We're talking about when I come in here, we're not gonna leave the same way. When I come in here, we're not gonna, when I, when I finish today, you gotta talk different, you gotta walk different. When you leave here today, you gotta think on a different level. He was a very inspirational speaker to me, and I know he has changed a whole bunch of lives and uh, his lifetime doing what he does. Right now, you're, you're allowing your, your sport to really pimp you. You're allowing your sport to be everything that you focus on. So when you get to the classroom, like you can go in the weight room, you're killing it, 500 pounds, yeah, throw more weight on. And then you get to the classroom, you're getting beat down by a two ounce book. That don't add up. That don't add up. And so I knew that I was that one day it was gonna come, that I had to be more than a, a, a football player. It was a reason why I stood in first and athlete second because I was preparing for the future. What are you doing to prepare for the future? Your purpose is something, the reason why you do what you do. What's your reason why you do what you do? I need you to challenge yourself when you leave here. I need you to figure out why do I really do what I do? You know, he has the likes of Eric Thomas, the likes of Ray Lewis. I mean, you know, when I think of people that speak, I think of Brandon May. What would you be really made of? Are you just made of a soccer ball, or a major league baseball, or the NBA, or chasing the NFL? Is that what you're really made of? Because one day you're gonna be somebody mom. You're gonna be somebody dad. And when they look, they look at you and they're gonna, they don't know, they just, some of them just bobbing their head at one, one years old. They don't even know how to keep their head straight. And they're looking for you to deliver. They're looking for you to, they know if they must eat, then you must go and hunt every single day. You must wake up every single day and you must chase greatness. You must chase what you want in life and never let somebody tell you what you can't do. Mr. Brandon Mays taught me to give 120% all the time. I want you to understand something. Your sport is only going to take you so far, and then you got to reach out, and you got to ask for a passport to go to the next level. If you haven't been putting in the right hours, if you have not been working through integrity, if you have not been working with dedication and hard work, you're not developing. What you want to become, you're already becoming. Whatever you want to do. We're so blessed to have Brandon May in our presence. You know, uh, I've known Brandon for about four or five years, and the things he's done on the field is translated now to off the field uh, with his new career as a motivational speaker. You know, he goes all around the country, and I'm so glad he was here today to bless about 300, 400 kids uh, in the crowd. And he did a chant, you know, right before he started his speech, and he said, after today, I will not be the same. And I'm pretty sure the kids got uh, blessed today by Brandon May. I'm going to grind each and every day, not just for my sport, but I'm talking about in life in general. I'm going to grind because this is what I do. I'm committed to it long after the emotions has left. Some of you guys, you're going to leave and you're going to be emotional, but will you be committed long after the emotions has left? That's commitment. I do what I do because that's what I do. I was built for this. This is my purpose. I'm walking in my calling. Don't chase everything that devil at you. You stay in your purpose. You stay in your calling. You stay in what you call to do in life. And you chase greatness like you have never chased it before. And I can promise you this, when it's all said and done, you will not just be a part of the legacy. You will not just be a person that's wearing that jersey on the, the front, the Clemson University like I was. You, you will not just be that person, but when they see your name, M-A-Y-E, they will say he's legendary. Some of you guys just want to be a part of the legacy. You just want to be a part of your high school. I challenge you, when you leave that, when you leave that high school, that your name is on the banner. I challenge you to put in so much blood, sweat, and tears, so much grind, that when you leave that place, your name is all on the banner. Because you have, you have exactly what it takes. If you're here at this event, they told me what this event was all about. I know Mr. Vern only bring in the best, the best, the best. The people that he's seeking take their life to the next level. So if you're here, you have exactly what it takes to be great.
So it's sometimes in life you're going to have to make that audible. You're going to have to make that audible. Maybe it's a call. I didn't know that, that I thought football, that was my way out. Now all of a sudden I had to make the audible. Cam New made the audible, they won that game. Will you make that audible? Will you make the audible? The only way that you're gonna be ready to make the audible is if you start filling yourself up with the right information, the right knowledge. Getting the right tools in you so when adversity strikes, some of you guys, when adversity strikes, now you're gonna break because you're not built for that. You're not built for adversity. I challenge you to start putting yourself in the right environment that's conducive to what you want to become in life. You have exactly what it takes. So guys, I challenge you to not be inspired. Don't be inspired, that's easy. Don't just be motivated. Don't just be motivated. But I challenge you every single day to be desperate for success. No matter what you're doing in life, like I said, you're gonna be somebody mom one day, you're gonna be somebody dad one day. Some of you guys are gonna own a company. Maybe I'm talking to the next president in here. But I challenge you to be desperate. Desperate, desperate, desperate. It's personal. I know it had to be personal. My grandma, she was going to the nursing home. I paid her home care. 26 years old. Every single day I woke up and I knew if I didn't go and deliver that she was going to the nursing home. So it's personal that my success is done every single day. It's personal that I do videos. It's personal that we do YouTube. It's personal. It was personal to me. It's personal that I wake up every single day. If somebody don't show up at my company, I go and watch the cars. I go and detail the cars by myself. Because it's personal. So make your success personal. And when it's all said and done, guys, you'll be great in life. So I thank you for your time. May God bless you.